issues this spring in terms of field uh, location and some things going on with the construction of new fields, but I thought our players and the staff handled it well. We're judging every spring practice on the things we spoke about on the press conference yesterday. Details, accountability, and toughness. Uh, I, I really liked uh, this football team's approach starting yesterday. I like their mindset. I like their approach to practices, uh, but a, you know, too sloppy. But that's to be expected from practice number one. But right now we're developing habits, and everything we have to do is habit forming. So it's the smallest details. We have to be uh, extremely detail oriented. Everything that we do, from our effort to our fundamentals to our techniques to our communication, situational football. But again, if this football team continues to stay eager and coach each other like I saw today, then we're gonna continue to improve and get better and better. Now tomorrow uh, is very, very important as we'll evaluate the video and when we come out here Thursday, we gotta be a better version of Team 121. How's the energy? I like the energy. I liked our approach. Uh, everyone was trying to lead and that gets back to leading and everyone's can lead in their own way, shape, form or another. And I, I like that. Now it's just getting down to the fine details and the habits. We can talk about leaders. I mean, it, it, this happens every year, but what's the first day like without a Josh Dobbs, a Derek Barnett? I mean, are you looking for those guys who are going to step up, or do you already have an idea? You know what? You never really know until you get out here. And you try as a coach, you try to create some adverse situations to see how your team will respond. And every time you get on the practice field, it's a learning opportunity. Now that's why you practice. And it's like I told our football team, we want the mistakes now. That's how you learn, but you can't make the same mistakes twice. But I like what I saw from leadership. As you know, you, those individuals you mentioned, you just don't replace. Uh, but however, uh, I liked what I saw. And, and you know, we talked about the culture and everything today. You know, there's so many great things going on. Today, the San Diego Chargers are in. Uh, tonight and tomorrow, the New Orleans Saints are in. And you know, when our players are coming to practice, they're seeing you know, these National Football League teams and coaches coming in and working our players out. And that hasn't been done around here in a very long time. So again, it gets back to excellence in the classroom, in the community, on the football field. And I think it's extremely healthy for our players to see that. How do the quarterbacks look just in responding to competition, whether it be before today or also on the field? I've liked their approach. And you know, we talked about, again, compete and don't compare. And I like their approach. I thought they commanded the line of scrimmage very well, but now the installation will pick up. And there's a lot of new things going in installation-wise, things that we haven't done before, new drills that we haven't done before. And we're seeing how they respond. How do they respond to controlled chaos? Because that's what a game of football is. And we have to be able to fix the problems on the football field. It's easy to say what the problems are, but how do we fix the problems? And a lot of times that's the job of the quarterback, whether it's a formation, whether it's a personnel grouping, whether it's a motion. But I've liked it's day one, but I've liked their approach and what I've seen so far. Blitz, you obviously five new staff members. You spent a lot of time with them. But on the field and practice is different than <laughs> meeting rooms, and skull sessions, all that. What was... What was the vibe when you leave here feeling like this staff you put together? I feel the same way I did walking on a football field. I'm excited. We got great teachers, great communicators, uh, great coaches uh, that have great expertise. And I'm excited to get back and meet as a staff and say, okay, tell me your guys' thoughts on day one. You know, what could we do better? And today I was a little bit of a quiet coach. I sat back and I took notes. And, it, and for me, I'm not only coaching the players, but – I am coaching the coaching staff and our expectations on the grass and in the meeting rooms, but uh, our coaches have done a tremendous job. And, and what I see is they've built great relationships with our players already from a trust factor and a communication standpoint. Coach, you talked about leadership. Who are some of the louder player voices out on the practice field that you can identify so far? Well, there's been a lot of them. I think uh, a lot of, again, these players are trying to lead in, in their own way, which has been great to see. But you know, again, it starts with your senior class, and I think Jay Sean Robertson has done a great job. Daryl Taylor's an individual who's really stepped up. John Kelly, uh, you know, individuals like that, uh, Darren Kirkland, Todd Kelly. Uh, you know, I could go on and on. Khalil McKenzie, these are all players that are really trying to lead, but what I saw today is an entire football team trying to lead, and you know, that gets back to that servant leadership that we spoke about. A couple more, guys. What's Austin Smith working some with the linebackers today? Is that yeah, that you know, you guys asked me a, a position change, and I didn't say any, but that position change happened towards the end of the year. Austin Smith has moved back to linebacker.
Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys, for being here.